Back in 1991, I lived in an apartment complex, and uh, my neighbor, right across the parking lot, I got to know, uh, she's always set out on her porch, and uh, she was a she, she was an older lady, older lady, probably in her fifties, and very attractive. Well, I got to meet her family, her daughter. I can't remember if she had uh, a son. It seemed like she had a son, but I never met him. But I met her daughter and her and her couple grandkids. Her daughter was very attractive. Anyway, I was talking to her one one day, and um, uh, you know, I didn't see her husband. I said, uh, "Did your husband pass away?" She said, "No." She said, "I don't know," and that threw me for a loop. You know, how how would you not know that? She said, uh, "I'll tell you." She said, "About thirty five. She was trying to count the years in her head. About thirty five years before that. So so this is nine. I'm talking. I'm talking to her nineteen ninety one, and she said." 35 years ago, so I'd put it what roughly what uh, 61, be uh, uh, being late 50s, wasn't it? She said about 35 years ago, uh, she was she got up for you know typical morning, cooking nothing was out of the ordinary, and she told me this, nothing was wrong at all. We had no arguments at all. We got along just fine. I was cooking breakfast, and uh, I hear him walking down the steps. Of course, I mentioned, honey, the you know breakfast in a little bit. Well, I look over, and he's, he has two suitcases at the door, two suitcases. And he tells her, he says, I'm leaving you. He gives no explanation at all doesn't say anything about love. He doesn't, the only only words he says to her, I'm leaving you. Picks his suitcases back up and leaves. Now, I didn't ask her about anything about child support or nothing like that. I said, where did he go? She said, I don't know. I never did see him again. And you could see the pain in her, in her eyes. She said, uh, I said, but how'd you take it all these years? She says, you think about them every day. The pain really never goes away. She said, I had to raise my uh, daughter and son all by myself. Uh, It sounds like she didn't sue for child support. I don't know. I didn't go into that deep. Uh, But uh, she said, "That's that's all he said to her. I'm leaving you. He didn't say anything about love or any of the the cause. He didn't say nothing. He just used those words, I'm leaving you. And she said, from that day forward, she says she has no idea what happened to him or where he went. None. Now, that's, that's not a soap opera. That was real life tragedy. I talked to her. That was real life to her.